the reporter asked, why do you play barefooted, you know? Then they said, you know, you guys in Europe, you play boot ball, but in India, we play football. I don't know how this legends play barefoot. Nineteen fifty, a young India, a free India, was flying high under the tricolor. And as India found her feet on the geopolitical stage, she also found her feet elsewhere. Many stories have been told about the legendary barefoot Indian football team. But none are as famous and as untrue as the 1950 World Cup story. The World Cup started in 1930 and it was in a very nascent stage when the FIFA started. Everything was not very organized with the FIFA. Then we had the World uh, War and they, in Europe, who was the real pioneer or the driving force behind the World Cup, was in shambles after the war. The scenario of Indian football was that uh, during World War phase, mainly in Kolkata or in other places, football was on. So all players were in condition and our team was considered as one of the leading team in Asian continent. We had qualified for the World Cup in Brazil and we did not send the team. An opportunity lost. Many of us still believe it's only because we played barefoot. In 1949, 48, just now 49, January India sent a cable to FIFA that they would like to participate in the 1950 World Cup. And uh, AIFF, even after sending the cable, was really not convinced or still divided as to how India would go and participate. See, it didn't qualify straight away. It qualified rather by default because there were three teams from, uh, from Asia which were supposed to play the qualifiers, India, Burma, which is now Myanmar, as and Philippines. Philippines withdrew first and then Burma withdrew. So India had qualified automatically. The mainstream players, they uh, prefer barefooted because it is often believed that they have got good control over ball and they used to play in sh short passes and this uh, short passing and slowing the game Again, mighty Britishers who used to play in kick and run. So uh, they prefer bare footed. I started playing football at the age of five. Football has given me life. Those days, there was no boot, we were playing barefoot. Even the Indian team used to play barefoot. So I was also playing barefoot. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a very common phenomenon then. There were so many times where we were playing in a, a, a small sided pitch. Uh, just outside your uh, home where shoes were not needed or uh, were not uh, compulsory. So I have played a lot uh, of barefoot football. FIFA did not ban barefoot football before 1953. It was even India played the 1948 Olympics and 52 Olympics in barefoot. India has just become free and they are representing free India and they are playing Bare footage in London, definitely people were, you know, what's this? You know? People were very amused. The British journalists were very amused. The British, British, British uh, press and British public was also that somebody can play football barefooted. The biggest myth, which which actually uh, I don't know who manufactured it. The FIFA said that you don't, <coughs> you don't wear boots, so you are, you will not be coming here. Which is uh, what I say, rather rubbish, I, I would say, because the FIFA equipment re regulation came in 1953 only. Before that, in the FIFA equipment re regulation, it was never said that you have to wear a boot. That is the first thing. And if you look at it in 1952 Helsinki Olympics, most of the Indians were wearing not wearing boots; they were barefooted. So FIFA not allowing 1950 World Cup uh, for not wearing boots. Is, is, a, uh, is an argument which stands, holds no water actually. We played football, not boot ball, and we played well. Nobody cared that we were barefoot. It's not the reason we did not go to Brazil. So why didn't we go? All India Football Federation estimated that since the tournament was being held in Brazil, in Rio, it would cost about a lakh, and they have to raise funds. All India Football Federation was certainly 
struggling to raise money. Then I think IFA, the parent body of Bengal football, they said they will give 25,000. My Soul Football Association, I think, said 10,000 or something. And the Western India Football Association, which is, which is basically Maharashtra Football Association, they also said they will give 10,000 or 15,000. So money was arranged. It was not that the money was not arranged. All India Football Federation came here and even said that Indians were getting ready for the World Cup. But then they developed cold feet. I don't think money was an issue in the end. I think the real story which I also genuinely believe was uh, I think the government of India felt that Olympics was more important for India to go. So they chose uh, the Indian football team to go to Olympics because the World Cup was not so big. June 24, 1950 this tournament was supposed to start. And then only 10 days before the tournament they sent a cable that India didn't have uh, sufficient, uh, got the information late. There was a difference in the selection of players, so they will withdraw. And that time we should all understand, Olympic definitely was a much greater event. So they preferred Olympic and they left out World Cup. But this was pr probably the biggest mistake, uh, biggest unfair, uh, unfortunate thing to happen to Indian football. How would we have fared if we actually played that World Cup? Nobody really knows now. But nobody can deny the fact that we were good. Football was bare feet, but players were quite skillful. Yeah, we heard the stories again. Sadly, the footages weren't there. My father, you know, my uncles, they all used to tell us this. And it was all something that we heard from people. But how glorious the, the years were then. India first played their official match, 1948 against France. The time when match was in favour of uh, India, they wasted two penalties against mighty France. And in final minute, they considered one goal, and they were out from the of the from the game. But it was a really good show. It created a very good impression about Indian national team, and it really proved that India was one of the leading team from Asia. In fact, India after Olympics has beaten Wales also, 4-0. Like in 1951, Asian Games final against Iran, that was India's toughest match. And India won the gold medal by winning by a goal. Frequently playing the Olympics, also getting an opportunity to play the World Cup, doing really well in the Asian Games, doing really well in the Asia Cups was a, a, a glorious time and I think uh, every now and then when at today's lot we feel a little bit demotivated that's where we want to be that's where we, we, we want to reach because before our country was there did that and uh, I just hope sooner than later we can get back to the glorious days if India has to progress in football I think it's the players that can perform and take football forward. And to get those results, you need good players. And to get good players, you need to start them getting trained and getting to compete uh, and getting that kind of environment for them to, you know, be passionate about football is what we need to create. You give life to football. When you buy a football, you have no life. In play there, you give life. Football gives us life. If you would have gone and played the World Cup, Probably we would have played the next one also. Just the whole euphoria about and around football would have been different. You, you can't put, you can't quantify what would, would have been achieved. But because I'm an optimistic, if we would have played, things would probably be, sorry, definitely be better for football in India. I hope it happens as ASAP as soon as possible. And I can't wait to see my country playing the World Cup.